three signs that she wants you sexually. Well, hello and welcome. My name is Erica Angelo, and here we talk about sex, love, attraction, women, all these amazing juicy topics that you don't want to miss. So what are the signs that she wants you sexually? Listen, I know sometimes we can be a little complicated. Okay, scratch that. We can be very complicated. Like sometimes I complicate myself. How do you know that she wants you sexually? I'm going to tell you. But first, I want you to subscribe to this channel and also turn on that notification bell because it's going to let you know every time I release a new video just for you. The first sign that we do to tell you that we want you, you know what I mean? Like, we really, really want you, is we start touching you. I know, it sounds so childish. It's like when I was in kindergarten, it's like when a guy comes and like pulls his shit out of your hair, you're like, oh, he likes you. And it's like, yeah, is, is there another way you can tell me? Obviously now when they do that, we like it. My, how things change. But that's right, she is touching you. It's subtle things like touching your hand or ha <laughs> ha, brushing your arm, doing this. Listen, if a girl is not into you, she's not gonna touch you. You know why? Because we're smart and we know that if we keep touching you, that you're gonna think, oh, she likes me. So if we know that we don't like you, we're not gonna touch you. But if she's into you, she's going to touch you. She's going to giggle. She's going to smile. It's gonna feel like a tease. Now, I just need to preface it with this. I am a huge, touch person so a lot of times I will touch everybody but the touch is different so I want to clear that up if I'm touching someone and I'm not doing it in a flirty way it's gonna look like this I'm gonna grab their arm I'm gonna hold them tight it's a total different touch than a graze of the hand or <laughs> I'm not gonna do that I'm typically gonna hold a person with a solid firm grasp or a more of a comforting way of touch. So if you're dealing with someone who is a touch person, there are some people who just like to touch people because that is their love language. Touch is my love language. So I'm always touching everybody that I talk to, whether it's a girl or a guy, but it's always gonna be a touch of comfort. I'm not gonna giggle, I'm not gonna flip my hair, I'm not gonna bat my eyelashes. So I just wanna let you know that, that there is a difference. The other thing that you are going to know that, hey, this girl wants me sexually. She wants the D. This is how you're going to know. She's getting nervous around you. That's right. Like, we get in our heads. You guys think that you're the only ones who get in your heads. It's not all about you. We get in our heads too and we get a little nervous. Like if we desire you sexually and we want to have sex with you or we're thinking about a second, third and fourth date, we get in our head. We start second guessing ourselves. Oh my God, am I pretty enough? Am I skinny enough? Are my tits perky enough? What was his ex-girlfriend like? We go through all of these things. So what happens is we start getting self-conscious. So how do you know when we're getting nervous? Well, we do a lot of this. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. I don't know why we do this, but we do. We just keep playing with the hair. We're like, uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, we can't keep our freaking hands off of our hair. That is a sure sign. She is getting nervous around you and she wants you sexually. The other thing is she starts giggling. Like, <laughs> like we as girls know, I know it's very adolescent, but it's a way that we let you know that we want you. So it's the playing with the hair it's a <laughs> it's a giggling and sometimes some of us girls our voice levels change so i have a girlfriend of mine bless her heart but when she likes a guy her voice starts getting really pitchy almost almost like she's yelling and sometimes i just want to stop her and go you sound really annoying right now but i don't because i don't think she would appreciate that but the point is her voice level starts escalating and she starts getting very pitchy with her tonality. That's how I know she's really into guy because she's getting excited and her voice starts to escalate. So if you see us getting self-conscious, we're playing with our hair, we're fidgeting, our voice is escalating, we're giggling, all of these things that indicate we're nervous, she could be into you sexually. 
And the third way that you're going to know that she wants you sexually is hello. She's going to start throwing out sexual innuendos. I find a sexual innuendo for everything, but not all women are as masculine as I am. So this is for those girls. The women who start throwing out little sexual like, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> The D, uh, vitamin D, uh, I mean, you know, whatever sexual way that she can start letting you know, like, hey, hello, I'm into you. Those are your subtle hints. Those are your cues. So guess what? If she starts throwing out sexual innuendos, you better play back. You better have some comeback with sexual innuendos. In fact, if you're really good with sexual innuendos, I could be opening Pandora's box by requesting this, but I wanna hear some of your best sexual innuendos in the comment section below. I wanna know, and that way you can help your fellow brothers out with this as well. Sexual innuendos get you out of the friend zone. Listen, if she comes at you with a sexual innuendo and you're just like, that was awkward, I don't know what to say to that. Listen, you've just put yourself in the friend zone with that. Play back with her. And listen, it gives you the open door to be sexual back with her. So if she throws out a sexual innuendo, it's like tennis. You better get that racket up and you better serve, you better swing and give it right back to her. And listen, if you're that guy and you're watching this and you're like, Erica, I know that there are no women who are ever sexually interested in me, then listen, you need to sign up for a coaching session with me. I'd be happy to help you discover that sexual stud that's inside. So what are the three ways that us funny girls, crazy girls, you boys are crazy too, people are crazy, but what are the three ways that we let you know that we are sexually into you? One, we start touching you, that's right. We wanna start putting our hands on your body. And let me tell you just another thing. Like sometimes if you touch a guy and he's rock solid, it just immediately like sends tremors down to our vagina and we're like, ooh, 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 I wonder what he would be like on top of me, ooh. Second thing is we start getting nervous. We start fidgeting with our hair. Our hair is just never perfect and we're just like moving it all around or we start giggling or our voice escalates. We start getting self-conscious. We start looking around. We're getting nervous because we're into you because we're thinking like, ooh, what would sex be like with them? And oh my God, did I wear my sexy panties? And the third thing is sexual innuendos. Listen, if she is throwing those out to you, then you need to be equipped and ready to give them right back to her. And if you were in the friend zone, this will definitely get you out of the friend zone. If you like this video, make sure that you subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and hit the like button. I have to say, sexual innuendos are like just my favorite thing. I feel like it's my gift to the world is to just look at everything and be like, hey, that's a penis, or hey, that's a vagina, or hey, look at those two animals having sex. Wow, isn't that great? I'm sure I'll come up with an innuendo for that. I can't wait to read which ones you guys put in the comments section below. Until next time, love ya. In the comments.